Hi, welcome to Keyword Searching Basics. If you open up a database expecting a Google-like experience, you will most likely be disappointed. We're all used to Google and how easy it is to use, but databases have different strengths and uses, and they are not designed to work the same. Google searching uses what is called natural language searching. This allows you to type in a whole sentence or question into the search box, and Google does a pretty good job at figuring out what you want and displaying useful results. Databases operate using keyword searching. To keyword search, you need to pare your search words down to just the few essential words or phrases necessary to describe your topic. You do not want to type in a whole sentence or question or use any unnecessary words. For example, if you were doing research on the topic of exercise, you have a pretty general topic, so your keyword is pretty easy to identify. It's just going to be the word exercise. It's also a really broad topic and will bring back an overwhelming number of results. Research topics tend to be more specific, such as, does regular exercise promote happiness? If you were to turn to the databases or library catalog to look for information, you would be looking for articles and books that talk about exercise and happiness. So those two core ideas become your keywords. Keep in mind that words like promote that express the relationship between your keywords often don't make very good keywords themselves. Other examples of relationship words are benefit, impact, effect, increase, decrease, reduce, and improve. If you decide to include a relationship word in your keywords, at some point try your search without it too. When you click the search button in a database or the library catalog, it looks for fairly exact matches on every word that you type into that search box. If it doesn't find a match on every word, then it won't put an article or book in your search results. So make your keywords count. The databases and library catalog are looking for matches in places such as the title, in the author's names, in subject terms, and in the abstract or summary of the item. Keep in mind that the database or catalog may not be looking for matches in the full text of the article or book itself. Let's go back to our Does Regular Exercise Promote Happiness topic for a minute. If we stick to just our keywords in an article database like Academic Search Complete and type in Exercise Happiness, we get 280 results. This means the database found 280 articles that contain the word exercise and the word happiness in either the title, author, subject terms, or article summary. If we add in just one more word from our original research question, the word does, our results drop from 280 to 17. That means we lost the chance to see 263 articles that might have been helpful to our research since they matched the keywords exercise happiness, but unfortunately they did not contain the word does. That's both frustrating and not the best use of your time as a researcher. The keywords you choose really do make a difference, which is why mastering keyword searching is one of the most important database searching skills you can learn. As this last example showed, adding more keywords will reduce the number of results you get. If your subject is too broad, adding carefully selected keywords to focus it can be helpful. For example, a broad search for exercise brings back almost 124,000 results in academic search, so adding the additional keyword happiness provided helpful focus. If you get too few results, reconsider your keywords and see if you can remove any of them. Choosing keywords takes practice. It also takes a willingness to try multiple searches since keyword searching has limitations that you need to work around. There are often many forms of a word and the database is only looking for the form you typed into the search box. For example, if your keyword is exercise, the database will not consider the word exercising to be a match, even though they both convey the same idea. Also, there are often many ways to say the same thing or something very similar. For example, if your keyword is exercise, the database will not consider the phrase physical activity to be a match. In addition to practice, you can build on your keyword searching skills to overcome some of these limitations by learning advanced techniques. These include using subject terms, phrase and wildcard searching, and Boolean operators such as OR. 
the library is here to show you how. If you have any questions about keyword searching in the databases or the library catalog, or even online, feel free to contact the library. We enjoy doing research and are always happy to help out. Thanks for watching and happy researching.